Hi, and let's learn some Chinese. I'm Stephanie, and welcome to my channel. As I have promised you from the last episode, in this episode, I'm going to introduce to you some of the number slangs and their meanings here in China. If you don't know about these meanings, after this episode, you will be an expert. Now, firstly, let's start with the trendy one: 六六六 Obviously, the word 六六六 or 666, the triple six. Represents the devil in their culture, but it's not a thing in China. Actually, in China, it means something is really cool, it's really awesome, and it's going great. For example, if your pal told you they have finished a program and their market is going strong, and you can reply with 六六六 Actually, if you are living in China, there are a lot of memes created with the number six, and sometimes people do this when they're talking as well. Now, this sign, knowing from our last episode, it means the number six in China. Let me offer you another romantic pair, which is five twenty warding and 一三一四 thirteen and fourteen. So warding means I love you in China. So wu is sounds like the Chinese wu, and then 二零 it just the combined sounds like 我爱你warding 我爱你 sounds like that in China. So 520 is a specific and a meaningful word that has become the lovebird's favorite word. And we have a tradition of sending red packet or sending flowers. That is universal, of course.、Um, so sometimes the couples you are seeing them sending each other red packets in 521, and they are sending flowers, maybe 520 roses, to represent "I love you." So sometimes you see the word or you see the number 520, and then 1314 right next to it, which means "我爱你一生一世 I will love you for the rest of my life. So, 一生一世 both means my entire life, and it sounds like 一生一世 I will say it again and listen to me carefully. 一生一世 which is how the numbers are pronounced, and then 一生一世 means my whole life, my entire life. Very similar. Hence, 五二零一三一四 it represents almost like a love slogan. So I love you forever. And 520 transformed to today's calendar on the May 20s is also a lot of newlywed couples are joining their holy matrimony. Now moving on to the number four. If the number triple six will give somebody chill in their back, the number four is the unfortunate number here in China because the pronunciation sounds like death or dead. So death or dead in Chinese is 死死 It's a third tone, and then the number four, which is 四四 is a fourth tone. So they're very similar. That's why people have this reserved opinions about number four. So sometimes you go into a building instead of seeing the fourth floor. Sometimes you will see a three A floor. Occasionally, not every building do that. But if you couldn't find your fourth floor, pay attention if there is a three A somewhere. Now another number I'm going to introduce is San Shu. I'm actually going to introduce you an idiom which is called San Shu Er Li. Now this means when you reach thirty, you're supposed to have a family. You're supposed to be able to support yourself and your family. So that is a traditional note and a concept coming from the Confucius. Of course, right now with the development of the society, the number is never really a thing. It's just a number. The age is no longer something that you paint on the wall and to remind yourself constantly. But I thought that you might want to know this idiom because we still use it fairly often. The very last word I'm going to say is the word eight eight. So in Chinese is ba ba, and so sometimes if you see people. Chatting with you, and then they send you a baba, which means bye bye. And so that's it for today's episode. I'm gonna send you a baba, and I'll see you next time. Bye.